Part 1 shows you how to make a new level. Part 2 shows you how to change level when colliding with an invisible object. Part 3 shows you how to change the level when all enemies have been destroyed. Part 4 might help if it doesn't change the level when you play your game. To make a new level for your game, go up to the workspace toolbar, right click on the name of your game, and click new frame. Once it's made, you can then choose which level you want to edit by double clicking on it. To make it change level when your person touches something, right click on the level, click insert object, double click on active and click somewhere in the level. I'm going to move this to the top left corner because then it's easy to find. Select it and make sure that it's invisible, otherwise you'll have the big block showing in the game. Next, go to the event editor, right click on new condition, right click on your person, collisions, another object, choose the object you just made, go to the storyboard controls, which is the third one along, right click, and click jump to frame. You can now choose which level it jumps to. To make it change level when all of the enemies have been destroyed, go to the event editor, right click on new condition, right click on the enemies, go down to pick or count and go to the second one down. You now do the same as you did in the last section by going along to the storyboard controls, right clicking and clicking jump to frame. Choose the level you'd like to jump to. When playtesting level changes, press F8 to play the game, because this plays the entire game and not just the level you have selected like F7 does. Playtesting with F7 will not change the level when it should do.